guys it feels like it has been so long since i have done a video so i am so excited to be doing another one um i just took a little bit of time off honestly i just i needed it for my mental health for just my sanity i just needed it i graduated a pharmacy school which is crazy because it felt like it took forever to get here but graduated last friday may 7th so that's exciting and now i'm just doing all of the fun things to prepare for board exams and licensure and stuff like that so that's what we're doing now but today's video i have so much to get done my husband and i are finally finally having our honeymoon so last year when we got married everything was shut down we couldn't go anywhere we had to cancel our trip and we're finally getting to do it so we are going to be leaving soon to go on vacation and this is a big one because it's our honeymoon our one year anniversary because we celebrated one year of being married which is crazy it's gone by so fast but we celebrated that april 25th and then also a graduation gift <laughs> so it's, it's a big vacation all in one so i have a lot of things i want to get done for this we have someone who's going to be staying at our house and watching our puppy milo so i just got back to the house from running a few errands i went and i took raymond some lunch by and picked up some more coin rollers because we have some coins that we need to roll and i need to clean the house um and then get start laying things out that i know that i'll need so let's get started but it's so good to be back and to be making a video so love you guys and hope you enjoy today's video <music> today I'm just putting in my Miralax with my one scoop of collagen I'm gonna add in some of this liquid stevia which I honestly very rarely use and I'm just doing one squirt because um, even though it's stevia and even though it is made from a natural source it still can upset my stomach so just doing that and I also usually don't do dairy, but we are going to be out of town and this is going to go bad before we get back and I just don't want to waste anything. So I'm just pouring in. There's just a little bit left. So I shook it up really nice so that it has that like foaminess on the top. So I'm going to add that in and then I'm taking my hand frother and just going to mix all of this up really nicely. It. I got it out Aldi. I really don't have much left at all. So it's very possible. I'm not really getting any this morning. So yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> That's so sad. But yeah, this stuff is so, so good. So highly recommend. And like I said, it's at Aldi. So it's very affordable too. So laundry is one of those things that I am still trying to get a hold on. We had so much from over the past few weeks where it's just been so crazy. So I definitely wanted to get these organized, folded, put up before we leave. That way, if we needed anything from it, then we could take that with us. But also just to come home to a clean house. Also, if you have any recommendations on a laundry schedule, please drop them in the comments below. I did post on my Instagram and Facebook story asking for recommendations and got some really great ones, but I'm still just trying to figure out what would work best for my husband and I and our just two-person dynamic. So definitely drop those below. I am going back to unload our dishwasher. I do typically run this at night and then unload it in the morning, but I try to make sure that I have a full enough load to justify running it and we didn't last night. So I finished up with whatever I had this morning and we are just starting from there. 
Also, I do have such a fun video coming where I did a kitchen organization of the entire kitchen. It's been a little while since I've done it, so you may see some differences. And I waited because I thought I was going to go back and add little labels on, and I just never did. But honestly, I really liked it. And I also wanted to make sure that how I organized it was actually going to be something efficient and that I could stick with so that it wasn't just doing it for a video and doing it in vain. <laughs> it was actually something I needed to do in my life. So that will be coming soon. So if you notice that from some of my past videos, the cabinets look different or things like that, that's why. So stay tuned for that video soon. towels folded one of the blankets the other two are in the dryer now that is my clothes shirts and then pants slash skirts that need to be hung up so I have those there um, I have the sheet sets that I need to finish folding but this is all my clothes in here and here is all of Raymond's so his shirts that need to be hung up or on top I've already went and hung up a few of his so that didn't have a big pile to take for him and then same thing, his shorts, blue jeans, and his t-shirts, underwear, things like that are in here. So now I'm just going to go put both of our baskets up and start hanging up those clothes. I don't know if you guys remember doing this with your grandparents or your parents or whatnot, but we just decided to roll these up to just take with us as some extra spending money for the beach. We've been putting aside our coins every time we spent any cash over the past, gosh, I guess few months. So I'm just rolling those up, separating those and doing those. And it just really took me back down memory lane. Comment below if this was something that you used to do as well. This is the cutest shirt I've ever seen in my life. Look at it. Oh, it's my graduation present from Raymond, and it's the sweetest and cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm obsessed. How excited are you that we leave for the beach super, the day after tomorrow? Super excited. I'm so excited. We're even going to take our dog with us. I See wish. Look, we'll back you in. There you go. <laughs> Accurate. Go with us. Good. Here's your toy. That's all you need. Oh no. <laughs> he said not today. Not today, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited. We got the laundry done. I have some clothes laid out. We have our suitcases. And the rest is for tomorrow. Y'all. But that's all for tonight. That's it. Good night, fam. Good night. So we were going to be going to bed and I totally lied. <laughs> we decided to go ahead and lay our clothes out and set those aside. So I'm going to show you what we've got done. So I have my just shorts, t-shirts, and yoga pants I'm bringing. My like nicer outfits here. <laughs> of course, I packed tons extra, but you know, never be too careful. And then tank tops, my bathing suits. Um, these are my, my nice strapless bra, um, sports bras, bralettes, my hat, which I can fully wear now, Farm D, and then I packed my robe with me, and Raymond already has his packed right there, you can see Milo in there, he's running and playing, 
but so we got that done at least all right so feeling productive got all the stuff put in here i'm gonna put it in my suitcase tomorrow but i have both of these sandals i absolutely love these these are actually my wedding sandals um these really cute ones i have these which were given to me and they are adorable they're from that barley lily i think um these i've had i swear for just years and years my flamingo vans because i am absolutely obsessed with flamingos and then my ugg slippers just to wear around the room so have that done but for real that's all we're tired we're going to sleep so see you in the morning when you get excited about Audi dates with mom. One thing that I didn't mention that don't you just love when this happens. I left the house and you know what was still sitting on the counter? My list. But I am really proud of myself because I actually remembered every single thing on this list. So that is a big win. All right, so just wanna show you guys my grocery haul. This is all from either Audi, Walmart, or the Dollar Tree. So, starting with our dairy items, I got some unsweetened almond milk for us to take as well as two things of egg whites. This is what Raymond really likes because whatever it is about the yolk, it really upsets his stomach. So, he has those. I have these. I went ahead and bought some of these because I need them for my muffins that I'm going to make. So, I'm probably not taking those down there with me, but I'm at least going to use them to make the muffins before we leave. This is that coconut whip topping that I was telling you guys about. It was, I think it was just under $3 there. So, so, so good. I also got some pepper jack cheese for sandwiches for Raymond. And then I always get this hummus from Aldi. I think it is so, so good. It's the roasted red pepper. Um, I like to eat this either with crackers or I'm actually going to do, with, do it with vegetables down at the beach and then my mom was telling me about this the spinach artichoke dip and she said that my dad absolutely loved this stuff so I got this as well because just trying to think of like some snacks that we can put in the cooler that will be easy to have down on the beach so we have that um, I got some bread for sandwiches so this is for Raymond and then Aldi also has these the whole bread wide pan whole grain huh, whole bread cheese whole grain wide pan so it looked really good so I have that and then for our meats we have now of course the bacon we're going to use this for breakfast as well as this Tennessee fried hot sausage we really like this kind it's not as good as there's this one place that we go when I go to visit my family which isn't like it's super far away but I just don't want to make the extra trip for it today um, and Honey Path is called McCall's Produce. They have sausage and it is the best sausage I've ever had. So we have that. And then for our sandwiches, we have just some sweet turkey breast, some black forest, uh, well, it's supposed to be ham, but I guess we're having extra turkey. <laughs> extra turkey sandwiches, which is fine. I have these two sausages. These are actually from the Dollar Tree. This is one of the few meats that I will actually buy from there, but these are so good. So I like these. They also have the turkey bacon, which is really good. I just, for some reason, my stomach cannot tolerate turkey bacon. But they have these. And I got these bratwursts in case they have a grill down there, which I hope they do. If not, we'll just cook them in the room. But these are really, really good. I've had those before. So we got those. And then we got a good bit of fruit as well to take down for snacks or fruit and vegetables. So I have my lemons for my water, because I still make. We also have, I got some of the purple grapes. So they look really good. So got those. I got four cucumbers. They were actually huge. So got these. We're going to use these for the dips as well as these baby carrots here. I also got some of these apples here. going to either eat those just by themselves or I'm taking some peanut butter so we can have apples with peanut butter. And then, of course, some bananas. I got them a little green. That way they should be good. The whole time that we're down there so um and then i got a bunch of like other snacks that may not be necessarily the healthiest but 
we're on vacation and you know what we're just there to have fun so i did also pick up this earl gray black tea this is one of the biggest sunburn hacks that my family has been doing for years so i am fairly pale if you can't tell so i get sunburned very easily going to the beach and my mom read one time that you can steep earl gray tea and once it cools off soak rags in it and then lay the rags over top of wherever you're sunburned and it helps to draw out that sunburn and makes you makes it turn into a tan quicker or at least takes away that pain and it truly does work so i have some of this because yeah yeah <laughs> so i have some of that i also have me some bread and butter chips you'll have to leave a comment below are you a bread and butter chip person or are you the dill pickle people i like dill pickle as well but these are my favorite just for like snacking like this so i got some of those and then i got i'm trying to cut out a lot of my candy but i did want this it's just one of the small boxes from the dollar tree these peanut butter m ms are my absolute favorite so i love those these i got for raymond because they're his favorite i used to love eating these but they're coated the coating has wheat flour in it so i can't have those anymore but we have those and then raymond also really likes these just roasted peanuts like this so have those as well as some pretzels for him we also have some of these tortilla chips here that we can use for our dips i'm taking some salsa down and then i think when we get down there we're gonna go by the store and get me some avocado and i'm gonna make some fresh guacamole down there i just don't i just don't really want to travel with the avocado because i'm afraid we'll bruise them too much so have that i found these at the dollar tree though and these are Raymond's favorite flavor of the cheez -Its. so i've got him two small bags which these may be for on the road but they can also be for the beach this is some of this popcorn which i think i've shown before it is so so good and i thought it would be a good snack like for the road i'm gonna take some bags of popcorn down there as well but i think this would be a good snack for the road and it's already popped then i found these and it's a smaller bag so i went ahead and got them they are so good if you've never had them cajun dill gator taters it's dill pickle chips but a little spicy with the cajun flavor so it's so good and then i got raymond some doritos the cool ranch flavor so that is all of the groceries right here that we got and i have just a few other like miscellaneous items so these are just a few random things that i picked up from the dollar tree all of these were actually so i got this apple core because i've been wanting to get one so and since we're taking apples down there, I thought this one would be perfect. So just have to take that out and wash it before you take it. I found this and I want to use this because I've heard there's little crabs that you can find and like pick up at night. But I didn't want to buy a bag of beach toys because all we really need is this. So I know this is actually a colander from the cooking section, but I'm using that. We have band-aids, but I think just having this small little box to bring because I am always prepared <laughs> with all the meds. So if you ever travel with me, I got you. I found this just a small little travel size one of what I already wear. And this way I don't have to take my big thing. You can just have that and that can be my travel one. I found this scrunchie there and it's, it's felt and it is so soft and it also almost matches my Apple watch band. <laughs> But I thought that was so cute. It'd be good to have while down there. Um, we needed some more batteries just for our toothbrushes. We have the electric toothbrushes. Raymond loves using these and I like them because they're mint. <laughs> so I got these from the Dollar Tree. Also got this, not, I'm hoping we don't have to use it, but this is the one medicine that I actually don't have in the cabinet. Someone's coming to say hi with his stick. Anyone else's dog just bring little mini logs in, you know. And so that was almost all. And then I found this super cute hat. Like this is the prettiest color. It's like a baby blue mixed with teal. So I just wanted this because I'm trying to get into wearing hats, but I don't wear them enough to actually like spend good money on them yet. So <laughs> I have this and I have my other hat that I showed last night that I'm gonna bring.
So I'm refilling mine and Raymond's vitamins for the week. We haven't been the best about taking these every day, so that's a goal for us to really try to get back on that. I'm not sharing exactly what I am putting in each of our vitamin containers just because I'm going to do a video on that soon. All right, so these are all the things now that I have it all together. I have these Band-Aids that we're packing. As far as rubs and creams, I have the Benadryl and this hydrocortisone cream especially if there's any type of bug bite i'm bringing some muscle rub cream just in case i really don't think we need it but you know triple antibiotic bringing some anti-diarrheal just in case i always have dramamine non-drowsy with me because i get car sick really easily i also have antacids that i'm bringing rubbing alcohol ibuprofen benadryl and then these contact lens re-wetting drops and then both of our vitamins fully stocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the bag now. I'm also gonna put in, I have six total, and then I still have one in my purse, and I know Raymond has at least one in his car, so putting those in there. I'm also gonna go ahead and put our speaker and the charger for it down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put these. I have the aloe because your girl burns. And I have this because your girl burns. So, <laughs> I have this. And then I am bringing these as well just in case we need to wipe anything down. Because we are going to be taking snacks and food to the beach with us. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put these down in here. Probably down on the side. If it will go. Put it down in there. And I'm also just going to stick these in there. So this is my absolute favorite muffin recipe to make. It is banana chocolate chip muffins. I think it would be really good trying it with walnuts to make like a banana nut muffin, but I just did the banana chocolate chip. This is one that I came up with on my own just because there's not a lot of gluten-free muffin mixes out there that aren't super packed with sugar. So I really like this one because it does use cleaner ingredients as well. If you want the recipe, it is up on, I think it's on my Instagram, but it's also on my baking Instagram, which is SugarX, S-U-G-A-R-X, baking. And so you can find that on there. But this was super, super easy, and it was really yummy. It ended up making 33, I think I said 30 in here, but it ended up making 33 muffins. I took almost half, a little over half with me. I froze the other half for when we come back home. We can have four more quick breakfasts. But this was so, so yummy, and it was really great having them down there at the beach so that we had just quick breakfast for the mornings. Didn't have to really worry about that that much. I did make my own oat flour, which I highly recommend doing. I've started using some xanthan gum and some of my other baking recipes with using oat flour or almond or coconut flour, but I didn't use it for this one and it still turned out perfect. So if you try these, make sure you tag me on Instagram so that I can see them as well. beautiful so beautiful second prom look at her so grown all right so got my little sister's hair and makeup done it looks so good i'm just oh, she's so grown up and it blows my mind but finished making our banana chocolate chip muffins as well so i ended up making 35 of them or 30 of them sorry and, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the sheets on our guest bedroom. And then I'm gonna lay out some sheets that I'm gonna change in the morning on our bed so that there are clean sheets for the people that are gonna be house sitting for us. So we're gonna do that, but I feel like I've gotten so much done today. <music> Thank you.
Hubby is doing <coughs> the car and <laughs> yeah. Short full probs. I feel that though, because he's still taller than me. <laughs> little bit that wouldn't fit in the other bag so some spices that if you are a true subscriber you will know and some onions in here as well some hot sauce raymond also have our coffee because we are taking our coffee so i'm gonna grab our core and our percolator as well right, so i also put raymond's yeti in here and we're taking both of our smaller like coffee Yeti cups and I'm not really sure exactly how much is going to fit in this bag much more, but we are going to try. So I'm just adding in some peanut butter that I already had. This is a kind I get from Sam's Club and just some three bags of our popcorn. And I think <laughs> this is as good as this bag is gonna get. Last late night walk with our little man for a week. So exciting. Looks so good. Shout out to my man. This job really does suck, get it? Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning, vlog fam. It is 6 30. We've been up and we've already gotten ready, changed our sheets, packed our toothbrushes, and everything like that. And we are getting ready to head out. We are just getting the few last minute things and packing our cooler with the groceries that we got that need to be refrigerated. So we are gonna spend some time with Milo and then we're gonna meet on our way, but we'll see ya when we're leaving. How excited are you that we're leaving? I'm super excited because we finally get to go on vacation because COVID messed us up last year. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really am. I'm excited. <laughs>